Welcome back. Another day in Wyoming scouting. It is uh, July 19th today, I believe. It's Friday. 3.30 in the afternoon. We're just getting going. Kind of a late start. But we didn't get back to camp until a little after 10.30 to bed after midnight. So we slept in and then we ended up taking all of our camp down, relocating to a different spot. So we're at a trailhead. We're going to uh, hike in and go do some exploring this evening. Hopefully find a place to glass from. Yesterday, most of the day, we were kind of in country that you couldn't glass, just way too thick until the evening. Finally found the elk. That was exciting. Saw some bulls in velvet. And uh, I think we logged just over 12 miles yesterday. So it's uh, very warm. I think it's about 85 degrees out. And that's part of our hesitation to get going. It's just so blazing hot. But high hopes to go explore this new area. It's been a great time. Again, just kind of learning the terrain, figuring out where we can camp, where we can't. One of the unique challenges in Wyoming, you are not allowed to camp on Wyoming state trust lands. So that's something that uh, differs by state. New Mexico, I believe, is also similar, potentially a few other states. But yeah, in Wyoming, you can't camp overnight on a state trust land, which limits you to BLM or National Forest Service. So uh, trying to figure out where we can camp versus uh, we were in like a pay to camp area. Not a huge fan of those. I'd prefer to just be kind of out and about. All those things we're just kind of figuring out. So uh, we're going to go give it heck this afternoon and evening. Hope we find some elk. Uh, we've got one more trail camera we can set and then probably wrap it up and head back home for called a uh, first successful trip. Maybe come back out again before the season starts. We'll see. But Logan's all ready to go. He's been packing, packing the spotting scope around for a couple days. Bam. We're all snacked up. We're watered up. Ready to rock. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> It's always nice to verify there's water. A lot of times the map will show like a little blue stream. Sometimes they're dry as a bone. But this one is active, which again, I think we're gonna lean towards doing some like overnight style bivy hunts, living out of our backpacks. Having water is a really key part of that to be successful. So I'm stoked that this is a healthy stream running through here. They're in here. What do you think, Lug? How, how many days old is that? Head northeast. I, I don't usually calculate by days. I go by hours. Okay. This is 122 and a half hours old. Definitely a bull. <laughs> I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking he's heavier on his right side because it's sinking in a little bit farther. <laughs> it's a good area. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Guys, I'm feeling I'm feeling friendly right now. I'm gonna give you a little tip, a little piece of advice, okay? For those of you that have wanted to come out west at some point in time and do a hunt, be it elk, mule deer, pronghorn, whatever. Wyoming is a great state. However, if you recall earlier, I mentioned that you have to have points. They don't just have over-the-counter stuff. So in Wyoming, if you miss the actual application period, you're still able to go in now. So from July, well, I want to say it's through October 31st this year, and you can buy a preference point for all three species. I want to say the cost is like 30-ish dollars for an antelope, around 40 for a uh, mule deer, and I want to say 50 for an elk. But you can right now, before the deadline, go get yourself a preference point. And if you want, buy a preference point for all three. 100% chance you could draw a tag, particularly for uh, pronghorn next year with one point. They got a bunch of options. Again, if you go on to go hunt, they are doing a free 30 day trial right now. We will put a link in the description box. All you gotta do is click that, sign up, explore all these features we've been talking about and find out how you can get yourself a tag next year. For elk, 
a general tag might take one to three years depending on kind of how the, the odds stack out but certainly worth it go buy yourself a point do yourself a favor then next year when the draws come around you'll have one point for all three species versus zero okay you're welcome So this trail ends right off that, okay. so we'll be able to verify that. Yeah, right at the bottom right there. Mm -hmm. We're doing good jump shooting these suckers with the camera. It's the third bull, fourth elk today, just walking around. Just so happens to be right next to a rub. I think this is my favorite place so far. There's just so much old elk sign, new elk sign, actual elk. The topography is really cool, so pretty stoked about this spot, Logie. What do you think? If you could imagine, like, what archery elk hunting would look like, topography and trees and every, like landscape and everything. This is it. Plus there's bulls running around, so that's cool. <laughs> Pretty hard to beat. It's been a fun day, even though we got a late start, it's been productive. I call that a W in our book. Huge W. Another W for the day. It's two days in a row. I don't know, I don't know why I'm packing this scope around. It's easy when they're 10 yards away to film them. <laughs> <laughs> I think because you're carrying that scope all day, every day, we're seeing them up close. I think it could have something to do with it. What's crazy is like this country is so thick, it's really not where we are right now. Glassing is not even relevant. Probably don't even need your binoculars. But I'm just blown away by the time of year in Wyoming, the greenery and the amount yeah. of water is so much water. Ridiculous. September can't get here soon enough. Porcupine, he was just walking down the trail with us. Just at a very slow and steady pace. I guess when you're covered in quills, you don't really have anything to be fearful of. So he just moseyed on off. This thing is way bigger than I expected. Yeah. Crazy little animal, aren't they? Yeah. He's like he had like a green tint to him. Yeah, he did. Probably from being in the grass. Dude, when you started doing that, I thought for sure that was a porcupine. <laughs> I don't know what that is exactly. I just want to see his face. He's got such a cute little face on him. Hey, buddy, look at the camera. Such a weird color to him, huh? Yeah. Look at those quills. You know what time it is? Croc lifetime. I know they don't look great, guys. Um, exceptionally comfortable. Currently have them in four wheel drive. If you want to go into two wheel drive, feeling frisky, just you put that up. Now we're street legal. I think that's, uh, gosh, it's got to be probably our top spot now so far, I'd say. I think we saw like five or six elk just hiking around midday. Jumped them, obviously, but uh, that's a cool sign dump the trail camera and uh, we decided to come back early we're gonna make some elk burgers matter of fact it is the elk 
from New Mexico that I got with Adam Weatherby. So we're gonna cook those up, get a good night's sleep. We're gonna wake up real early, break down the jumping jack, go glass a different area, and I think call it a trip. But so far, man, I'm really excited. Logan and I were talking like, man, how incredible could that zone be in the rut? Just with all the elk activity that we saw, the sign that we saw, I really feel like there's just gonna be a heck of a lot of bugles happening back up that trail. So it's been rad hanging out with Logie and Martin, getting some footage and uh, just exploring new country. Beautiful day to be in the woods. I'm really excited for September to get here. Appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, do us a favor. All you have to do is hit that little rectangular button. It's red, it says subscribe on it. If you do that, you'll get to see Martin in his underwear. <laughs> uh, anyways, thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.